Warning, warning, warning. If you're watching this video, I'm making a video about altcoin seasons and altcoin seasons are my favorite because you see these crazy percentages like this. You see 694% in seven days and these crazy percentages are attributed to the fact that all the liquidity goes from Bitcoin and then you see 9,000% increases like that into altcoins. All the money starts flowing into altcoins because people start realizing that altcoins are a better opportunity than Bitcoin because Bitcoin is old and watered down and it doesn't really have too much utility. And as you can see right here, there's the 1000 percent in seven days that's what we see with altcoin season so pay attention to what's about to happen in this video i'm going to be doing a price prediction it's a price prediction on altcoin season and showing you guys exactly how to make money through altcoin season it's going to be amazing that is right we are about to do a cryptocurrency altcoin season price prediction you can see that i am very happy right now even though the market is down five percent and some altcoins are getting hammered no it is not over. I told you that's how cryptocurrency work. These coins going down 30, 50% in 24 hours. And that is the whole point of high risk, high reward. I thought you knew that. I thought you knew what you were getting yourself into. If you don't know, well, cryptocurrency is the wild, wild west of finance. And I am so happy to be alive and involved in the greatest financial asset class on earth. I believe generational poverty is going to be broken. I believe that this is the biggest transfer of wealth humans have ever experienced and i have to say with those types of words it's gonna get hard keep watching now you're probably wondering why is the market falling right now alex the bitcoin having is around the corner well i lay it out right here in coin picks inner circle with this what is going on everybody Hope shut up stop talking over here we have interest rate decisions so the federal reserve meeting is literally in the next four or five days and here they decide interest rates they decide if they're going to increase or decrease interest rates but the thing is they haven't done nothing for a very long time specifically in this chart they haven't done anything in this green box so in this entire green box they pretty much kept interest rates the same and as you can see Every time they keep it the same, the price of Bitcoin goes up. So what we're looking at here is a small, normal, healthy, regular pullback on Bitcoin and altcoins just happen to take that much damage because, hey, it's high risk, high reward. And if you guys did not know, CoinPix Army and CoinPix Inner Circle increase in price every so often when it comes to the amount of members that join my group. They both have their mechanisms, but the reason why I increase the price is because I am only one person and I will always be the coach for both groups, me personally coaching you. So I have to make it more and more expensive as people join we're, we're talking about thousands of people joining these groups so it's, it's like i could only duplicate myself every so often so i highly suggest before the bitcoin having that you take advantage depending on how much money you have in crypto of coinpix army or coinpix inner circle coinpix army is the cheaper one inner circle is the super expensive all-out one take advantage the price will increase on both courses as we go through the bull run so take advantage because my time is limited so what i'm about to do in this video is take you through a seven step process on how to predict all of the altcoins ethereum and bitcoin at the same time so we can see the trajectory of the market i've noticed especially when dips happen people just need to zoom out and look at the bigger perspective of what's going on because we are just getting started we are we haven't even this is crazy like you have no idea when i show you the numbers it's going to blow your mind it's going to give you a little bit of comfort and you might go get a check and drop it in crypto because it is definitely by the dip time step one historical analysis what i'm looking for is the rate of diminishing returns as you can see every cycle is different that's one thing you have to understand about cryptocurrency is that early on it was extremely volatile and extremely lucrative Bitcoin went up by 58,000% the first cycle or the 2012 cycle. Then it went up by 11,000 in 2016. And this recent cycle, it went up about 2,000. Every single cryptocurrency that you know in the entire market will diminish in returns. They just get bigger and bigger. So as they get bigger, it's harder to pump the price. This is normal for every asset class in the entire world. So if we look at the first cycle to the second, the rate is calculated by dividing the increase of the first cycle by the increase of the second cycle. And you can see the rate is about 5.08. Now we have from the second to the third cycle and the rate is about 5.51. And if we average those two, the decay rate 
is about 5.3. So this analysis shows on average the rate at which Bitcoin's percentage increase from the bottom to top diminishes from one cycle to the next by approximately 5.3. That means that historically the growth from one cycle to the next decreases by a factor of about 5.3. Hopefully that makes sense. Now here's the actual numbers. All I did was take the percentage from the bottom to the top, percentage from the bottom to the top, bottom, top, and then I found the rate of decrease with ChatGPT, of course. Now from that prediction, you could see that if the same rate of decrease happens, we will have Bitcoin increase in the fourth cycle by about 394.52%. Now the problem with this is that it's not taking into consideration the most significant event in all crypto, which is the Bitcoin spot ETF. So being that we have a Bitcoin spot ETF, I noticed that Bitcoin is increasing way faster pre-cycle than we have ever experienced before. So I had to find that difference and factor it into the price prediction. So I believe that this price prediction of 394.52% would have been relevant if we didn't have a Bitcoin ETF. But we have a Bitcoin spot ETF and this is where it gets kind of crazy. So what did the Bitcoin spot ETF actually do? So as you can see right here from January 21st, 2024, there's been about $12 billion of inflows into the Bitcoin spot ETF, according to BitMEX research, which is like the big standard that everybody's looking at. There's been about $12 billion. That's a lot of money. But what does that actually do to the price? Now, another thing to take into consideration is that we are actually not looking at Ethereum's ETF. So this is not taken into consideration in all these price predictions. So you guys know I'm being very conservative. So all of these price predictions are without, let me say it again, without the Ethereum ETF, which I believe wholeheartedly that in May, we will likely have a decision and it will be to approve the ETF. I believe we are going to approve the ETF. Everything that happens to Bitcoin when it comes to regulation typically happens to Ethereum. Ethereum is well established. I think it's actually obvious. BlackRock filed for an Ethereum ETF and they've only had one denial in the history of all BlackRock's ETF applications. They've never had any more than one denial. Okay, just think about that for a second. So the chances of Ethereum having an ETF approval, in my opinion, are extremely high. And the final deadline is May 23rd. So that's happening in the next couple of months. So remember, all of these price predictions will change when that happens and I'll have more data. But even without the Ethereum ETF approval, it's actually pretty crazy, to be honest with you guys. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at Bitcoin from the bottom to the Bitcoin halving. Now, the reason why I'm looking at this specifically is because I want to see how much percentage increase did Bitcoin go up pre-Bitcoin halving from all-time low. Why am I doing that? The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to figure out the ETF's influence. I want to figure out, okay, let's look at the last two cycles. What did the last two cycles do? And in comparison, why is Bitcoin going up so much now? By the way, I just want to be clear with you guys before we go into this section. Bitcoin has never increased by this many percentages pre-Bitcoin halving. So there's two things that Bitcoin has made history with this cycle. The first thing is we broke all time high. That has never happened pre-Bitcoin halving ever. The second thing they made history with is the percentage increase. We have never seen this type of percentage increase pre-Bitcoin halving. Even back here, which you have to take in consideration, that's pretty crazy, right? Even way back here in 2015, where everything was way more volatile and way more lucrative. When I mean way more lucrative, look at how much more lucrative Bitcoin was back in the day. Even here, there was only a 290 something percent increase compared to we're at 357 right now. So that's pretty significant. You guys have to understand that the Bitcoin ETF had a significant influence on Bitcoin's price. So what is the difference in influence? It's very simple. Here's the math. So the average increase for the cycles before the ETF was introduced, all I did was take the average. That's all I did. And you can see that the average is 252.64%. Now, the recent cycle is 357. So all I did was right here, divide the increase in the recent cycle by the average increase of the previous cycle, resulting in a ratio of 1.41 or 41%. 
This suggests that the introduction of the ETF amplified the rate of Bitcoin's increase approximately 41% over the average increase rate of the cycles before the ETF was introduced. Now, the interesting part about this, there's another variable that you could add. I didn't really take in consideration the rate of diminishing returns. So this is actually a very, very vastly underestimated number in my opinion. I think this is very underestimated. Like I think it's probably a little bit more than that because I didn't take into consideration the rate of diminishing returns into this math because it's going to get too crazy. And to be honest with you, when it comes to price prediction, you're never going to be able to figure out all the variables. So if you're never going to be able to figure out all the variables, you might as well undershoot. So I think this number is more around 60%, but we're going to consider it 41% for the sake of undershooting the price prediction. So very straightforward. If we adjust Bitcoin's price prediction, because the original price prediction was what? 394%. If the ETF influenced Bitcoin by 41%, then we have a new percentage return or a new price prediction of 557.72%. Now, this is very interesting because watch how this lines up. It's very interesting. So if we go up from the bottom, let's just take this one. If we go from the bottom to 557%, we're looking at right about here. And guess what? That price is around 100K BTC. That thing lines up almost perfect, guys. 100K BTC is probably the biggest psychological number in all of cryptocurrency. Being that it lined up with 100K so perfectly is actually giving me more confidence because there's a psychological thing in trading and cryptocurrency everywhere where basically when it's like even numbers or like divisible by 10, like for example, 10K BTC, 20K BTC, people always have some type of attachment to these numbers. And you'll usually see more volume. You'll usually see more buying and selling. And the most significant number in crypto, the most iconic number in crypto, the most viral number in crypto is 100K BTC. If you've been involved with crypto for more than like a year, you know what I'm talking about. And you're probably freaking out like, wow, that price prediction is kind of crazy. 100K BTC is the most viral psychological number in all of cryptocurrency. There is most likely going to be a significant sell-off in Bitcoin, not altcoins. We'll talk about that for the remainder of this video. Altcoins are a completely different story. Right now, they're extremely undervalued. I have proof for that, and it's going to be really crazy. But when it comes to Bitcoin specifically, watch that 100K price. It's going to be crazy. And maybe we'll do some more price predictions as we get more ETF inflows, because obviously that's a determining factor as well. But yeah. That is my Bitcoin price prediction this cycle. Let's, let's keep going from there. So now that we have Bitcoin's price, we can start analyzing Ethereum. Very simple, straightforward. All I did is look at the percentage increase of Bitcoin and the percentage increase of Ethereum. As you can see, Bitcoin did about a 2,000% increase in the 2020 cycle. And then Ethereum did about a 5,800% increase. And then I just simply find the ratio between both of them. So Ethereum had a ratio of about 2.88. And this ratio indicates that Ethereum's price increase was about 2.88 times the increase of Bitcoin's price during the 2020 cycle. So this is a significant multiplier as it's saying right there. And it shows that Ethereum grows way faster than Bitcoin. And again, all I did, the left-hand chart over here is look at Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin's price on the left, Ethereum on the right. I went from Bitcoin's all-time low to the all-time high. I got that percentage increase. And then I went from, on the right-hand side here, Ethereum's all-time low to all-time high. Now, one more thing I thought that was really important that really shows how undervalued Ethereum is right now and how Bitcoin is really stealing the show. Look at Bitcoin's percentage increase from the bottom to the Bitcoin halving. We have 300 and whatever percent, right? But look at Ethereum from bottom. Ethereum from bottom is literally less than Bitcoin. This clearly shows that the Bitcoin ETF has something very significant happening to Bitcoin right now to the point where Ethereum throughout its history has a 2.88 multiplier against Bitcoin, meaning Ethereum goes up 2.88 times more than Bitcoin. But right now, Ethereum's percentage increase is really low. This shows that Ethereum is extremely undervalued and altcoins right now are extremely undervalued in comparison to Bitcoin. Now, taking that into consideration, we can predict that Ethereum will increase by 1,606.23% 
if Bitcoin hits that 100K price that we've been talking about. Now, remember, this number does not include the Ethereum ETF approval. So it is very underestimated. Just to be clear with you guys, this is a staggering underestimation. Not only that, but like I said, this 41% is also a staggering underestimation. And again, the reason why I underestimate is because people take these price predictions way too serious. They start making bets off of it. And the biggest problem in crypto is that people just don't sell early enough. So I rather significantly underestimate and be wrong on that end than overestimate, say Bitcoin is gonna go to a million dollars, wait for it to go to a million and it never happens, right? The goal here is to make money. The goal here is not to entertain you. The goal here is to tell you the truth. Like the classic style of all of my videos, it might hurt you. I might scream at your face and tell you to run even though you don't wanna run, but it's the truth. This is what I do and this is what this channel's for. So subscribe to the channel if you're looking for the honest truth. So if we take this 1,606 you know, percentage increase seriously, it will take us to about right here. This is an Ethereum price of about $18,000, which again, also makes sense. $20,000 is a psychological number. Anything divisible by 10 or divisible by five or any even number is a psychological number. So people are thinking in their head like Ethereum to 20K. So $18,000 is really close to 20K guys. Just think about that. Now for my favorite part of the video, I wanna look into altcoin season with these price predictions. So we're gonna dive into what these coins could do. Now brace yourself for a second, okay? And understand that you have to move with risk management. Don't get too excited. You can take notes. You can go brag to your friends, don't get me wrong. But don't get too excited, just relax for a second. Yes, we all know crypto is very lucrative, but don't let it get to you for a second, okay? So let's jump into the chart. Now, the first thing I have to explain is how these charts work. So as you can see right here at the top left-hand side, we're looking at Ethereum versus BTC. The significance of this chart is very simple. When this chart goes up, that means Ethereum is doing better than Bitcoin. When this chart goes down, that means that Bitcoin is doing better than Ethereum. This is my favorite chart to determine altcoin seasons. Why? Because it really shows you when Ethereum is outshining Bitcoin. And the reason why that's important is because Ethereum is the biggest smart contract platform. And the purpose of a smart contract platform is to make other altcoins. So Ethereum's whole purpose is to make alts. That being said, Ethereum is the best indicator. I don't care what nobody else says. I have explanations for this in my course. I don't care what nobody else says. Ethereum is the best indicator for altcoin seasons that I have found on the internet right now. Yes, I understand. There's something called total two and total three in trading view that's supposed to look at altcoins. I'm telling you that those are skewed completely. I do not trust them. What I trust specifically is the Ethereum versus BTC chart. And I wanna show you something very specific about this chart. Notice, we have the Bitcoin halving, the Bitcoin halving, the Bitcoin halving. When do we see the altcoin seasons? Altcoin season typically happens when Ethereum beats Bitcoin. So right here's an altcoin season, 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 right here's an altcoin season. Anytime Ethereum starts taking off, that's typically when altcoins start taking off. Altcoin season, right? Obviously it was more exaggerated in 2016, but these altcoin seasons are pretty significant. They're really, really, really big. Now that's the first chart. So it kind of shows us, okay, when is the altcoin seasons typically happening? And if you noticed, let's, let's, let's look at this, right? It's going to blow your mind a little bit. If you noticed they happen after and a little bit before. This cycle is a little bit before and then a little bit after the Bitcoin halving, right? Look at this cycle. A little bit before, but mostly after the Bitcoin halving. So where are we at now? We're here. And the crazy part about it is that being that we have the Bitcoin spot ETF, there has been no altcoin season. So all those altcoins you see going crazy right now is not even considered an altcoin season. This is like Nothing like look at the difference here. Look at these big jumps. It's because Bitcoin's been dominating because of the Bitcoin spot ETF. So once liquidity starts getting out of Bitcoin and moving into altcoins, it's going to be crazy. 
because we haven't even had a serious altcoin season yet. We had no serious altcoin. These are not altcoin seasons. This is sideways price action. So after the Bitcoin halving, when we have an altcoin season, it is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. This crazy. So as you can see right here, this is around the Bitcoin halving. So look at the Bitcoin halving. This chart we're looking at is Solana dominance. So this is Solana, one of the biggest percentage increase coins last cycle. Now, you guys know I don't invest in Solana for various reasons. I believe that it's going to diminish in returns and it's not even going to do even close to as well as it did its first cycle. But it shows us how much these altcoins can go up. So, for example, look right here is the Bitcoin having and look at how much Solana went up. That is in, that's insane, right? So these altcoins will do that if you pick the right ones. Bottom left hand corner, we have the Bitcoin dominance chart. So this shows the dominance of Bitcoin's market cap over the market. Again, just more evidence showing the same exact thing. Bitcoin lost dominance after the Bitcoin halving. So the Bitcoin halving happened, Bitcoin lost dominance. That is an altcoin season. When Bitcoin loses dominance, that is an altcoin season. When Ethereum gains dominance, which is the right bottom hand chart that we're looking at, when Ethereum gains dominance, that is an altcoin season. So long story short, the whole purpose of what I'm trying to tell you here is that altcoin seasons come after the Bitcoin halving, guys. And the Bitcoin halving is less than 30 days away. So if you're worried about your coin dropping 10%, you're missing the big picture. You're really missing the big picture, guys. So what I did to open up your time horizon and to show you the big picture, I took these three altcoin seasons right here these three altcoin seasons and i have historical snapshots of what altcoins did in these time periods and it's going to blow your mind a little bit so brace yourselves warning what you're about to see is pretty crazy okay the percentages are absurd but before we get into that i have to say that although they go up by thousands of percentages and small time horizons although you see these big numbers if you are not investing correctly you will lose all of your money being that they go up a lot, they go down a lot, like a lot, lot. And if you don't have risk management, you are gambling. If you don't have a strategy, you are gambling. And if you gamble in this market, you will not make your money back. I've seen way too many people lose money. So I highly suggest you take your education seriously and you click the link below and learn my complete strategy. Learn how I maneuver through this market. I've been doing it for eight years. I have thousands of people coached under my belt. So I'm telling you, not just based off of comments on my YouTube channel, I'm telling you based off of direct coaching experience that a lot of people lose a lot of money through various things. People get scammed. People lose their money to pump and dumps. There's so many ways you could lose money in the wild, wild west of finance. So I have to warn you, I understand it's going to be exciting when you see these percentages, but if you don't have a strategy to back up everything you're doing, you're, I'm telling you, you're wasting your time and your money. Like I'm telling you, the chances of you getting out of this thing alive is, is slim to none. Seriously. And I'm not being negative. I'm just going based off the numbers and what I've seen, most people don't make money in crypto. So now for the great part. Let's jump into the altcoin market so you guys can see how crazy it is. So as you can see right here, this time period was right after the Bitcoin halving, May 2020 to about August 2020. Now, if we go over to this website here, you can see this is the cryptocurrency historical data snapshot, and we can see all the altcoins, and we're talking about crazy percentages. So that's 398% in seven days, guys. And we're not talking about one altcoin doing well or two altcoins doing well. They're all doing well. All of them. 52% is not a joke. Like you might be like, oh, who cares? That went up 151%. 52% is not a joke. 793% increase in seven days is, is not a joke. It, there's nothing in the world that gives you these types of percentages. You need to send this to your buddy. We're talking about a coin that goes up higher than 9,000%. Like, come on, bro. Send this to your buddy. A 10,000% increase is 100x, guys. 10,000% increase is 100x. Look at these numbers. Look at the, the and this is a seven day time horizon. That coin went up 9,000% in a seven day time horizon. Imagine in 30 days or imagine in three months how much these coins go up. This is crazy. 375%. 
Look at this, 9,000 plus percent. That's ridiculous. Uh, 111, like this is great. Like they're all doing well. When an altcoin season takes off, all of the liquidity moves into the altcoins and you see crazy things like this. So let's look at the next part. This is the second cycle here. Within this specific time frame, we have another altcoin season here. Let's look at that one. Again, again, crazy percentages, guys. You're going to lose too if you don't know what you're doing. Altcoins also drop, but crazy percentages. These are seven day time horizons, might I remind you. I'm trying to remind you, this is only seven days, guys. And we're seeing 700% returns in seven days, guys. 238%. Like, this is crazy. This is like not normal stuff, guys. It's not normal. I don't think you can find this anywhere else in the world. And if we look at the last altcoin season within that cycle, as you can see, like these, like this is where it got crazy. The last one got really crazy. So this last one here towards the end got absurd. Look at how long that is. And that's typically what happens with these altcoin cycles. At the end, altcoins usually do well. All the liquidity from Bitcoin moves into altcoins. Once people start wisening up and understanding that Bitcoin's like, who cares, right? Bitcoin, who cares? But look at this, right? Big time, look at that, 1,000% in, in seven days, bro. That's crazy. And look, it's not just one, guys. It's not just one. It's multiple cr coins at the same time doing hundreds of percentages. So this is what I'm looking for. I don't know what you're looking for, but this is, this is what altcoin season is. Why are you worried about your portfolio dropping 20% in the past couple of days? Who cares? It's the FOMC meeting coming around the corner. This is very isolated. Let's look at the bigger picture. So just to sum it up for you, it's very simple. The Bitcoin halving hasn't even happened yet. We haven't had any Ethereum spot ETF approval. These are big, significant, major events in crypto, like monumental, like the biggest category of events you could possibly have, basically. Those two have not happened yet. Okay, very simple, straightforward. Not only that, but Bitcoin is expected to increase anywhere from 500 to 600 percent. Ethereum is expected to increase anywhere from 1500 to 2000 percent. And within those major percentage increases, there's small little altcoins that increase by way more, way faster through something called altcoin seasons. So when you feel emotional about losing money, you have to understand that we are in a volatile market. And that's the whole purpose. High risk, high reward. And it's as simple as that. If you appreciate this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. I mean, look, I don't know what else to tell you. It's The money's here. The question is, are you here mentally? The question is, do you have enough experience under your belt? The question is, do you have enough capital in crypto or is your life in shambles and you can't save 500 bucks? That's the question. That's the question. Are you going to keep being lazy or are you going to get up off your butt and make something happen and get some money in crypto and stop worrying about the $10 transaction fees and stop worrying about your portfolio dropping 10%. Life is bigger. Life is way bigger than money. There's so many other things in reality. It just so happens to be that we are standing on the greatest transfer of wealth humans have ever experienced before right now so take advantage stop making excuses catch you guys later